हेलो क्लास आई एम हैप्पी नारंग योर सब्जेक्ट टीचर ऑफ इन्वायरमेंटल साइंस एंड टूडेज टॉपिक इज ग्लोबल वार्मिंग सो टुडे वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग सम फॉलोइंग पॉइंट्स व्हाट इज ग्लोबल वार्मिंग ग्रीन हाउस इफेक्ट्स कोजेज ऑफ ग्लोबल वार्मिंग इफेक्ट्स ऑफ ग्लोबल वार्मिंग और जोन लेयर डिप्लीशन ग्लोबल वार्मिंग स्टेटिस्टिक्स प्रोजेक्शन ऑफ ग्लोबल वार्मिंग फ्यूचर प्रडिक्शंस प्रिकॉशन टू प्रिवेंट ग्लोबल वार्मिंग सो फर्स्ट वी शुड अंडरस्टैंड अबाउट द ग्लोबल वार्मिंग ग्लोबल वार्मिंग रिलेट्स टू द इंक्रीज इन द एवरेज टेम्परेचर ऑफ द अर्थ सर्फेस दैट हैज बीन ऑब्जर्व इन रिसेंट ईयर्स एंड इट इज प्रोजेक्टेड टू कंटिन्यू इट इज डिबेटेड एज टू वेदर दिस इज अ नेचुरल अकेरेंस और वेदर ह्यूमन एक्टिविटी हैज इम्पेक्टेड और एक्सीटेड इट ग्रीन हाउस इफेक्ट इज द प्रोसेस बाय विच एब्जॉर्बन एंड एमिशन ऑफ इंफ्रा रेड रेडिएशन बाय गैसेज इन द एटमोसफेयर आर प्रोपरेटेड टू द वार्म प्लानट्स लोअर एटमोसफेयर एंड सर्फेस नेचुरली अकरिंग ग्रीन हाउस गैसेज हैव मेन वार्मिंग इफेक्ट ऑफ अबाउट थर्टी थ्री डिग्री सेल्सियस or we can say 59 degree fahrenheit the major greenhouse gases are water vapor which causes about 36 to 70% of the greenhouse effect carbon dioxide which causes 9 to 26% methane which causes 4 to 9% and ozone which causes 3 to 7% clouds also affect the radiation balance but they are composed of liquid water or ice and so have different effects on radiation from water vapor there are some causes of global warming is caused by several things which include man made or anthropogenic causes and global warming is also caused by natural causes there are many causes some are as follows natural causes man made causes of global warming so first we will discuss about natural causes natural causes are causes that are created by nature one natural cause is release of methane gas from arctic tundra and wetlands methane is a greenhouse gas and a very dangerous gas to our environment a greenhouse gas is a gas that traps heat in the earth's atmosphere another natural cause is that the earth goes through a cycle of climate change this climate change usually lasts lasts about 40000 years now man made causes man made causes probably do the most damage to our planet there are many man made causes of global warming pollution is one of the biggest man made problems pollution comes in many shapes and sizes burning fossil fuels is one thing that causes pollution fossil fuels are fuels made of organic matter such as coal or oil when fossil fuels are burned they give off a greenhouse gas called co2 when you dig up the fossil fuels you dig up the methane as well letting it escape into the atmosphere as shown in the figure there are some effects of global warming the effects of global warming can already be seen the ipcc's third assessment report finds that in the last 40 years the global average sea level has risen ocean heat content has increased and snow cover and ice constant ice extent have decreased which threatens to inundate low lying iceland nations and coastal regions throughout the world effects of global warming already being felt on plants and animals worldwide global warming effects that will happen in the future effects of global warming on earth in future are global warming will have serious impacts on the environment and on society 
higher temperatures will cause a melting of ice in greenland and antarctica this will accelerate the rise of sea level the speed at which global warming is expected to occur in the 21st century is faster than most plant and animal species will be able to cope global warming is causing temperatures to increase sea levels to rise and more frequent and intense extreme weather events however more pests and diseases may offset any benefits higher temperatures may have water resources will also be affected effects of global warming felt on plants and animals are global warming is having a significant impact on hundreds of plant and animal species around the world although the most dramatic effects may not be felt or decades according to a new study in the journal nature now comes ozone layer depletion the ozone layer protects the earth from the ultraviolet rays sent down by the sun if the ozone layer is depleted by human action the effects on the planet could be catastrophic ozone is a bluish gas that is formed by three atoms of oxygen the form of oxygen that humans breathe in consists of two oxygen atoms when found on the surface of the planet ozone is considered a dangerous pollutant and is one substance responsible for producing the greenhouse there are some global warming statistics according to the nasa the hottest year on record was 2005 which matched 1998 according to the national climatic data center estimates 100 billion of damage was caused by hurricanes hitting the us coast in 2005 alone it is also projected that 15 to 37% of all plant and animal species could be wiped out by global warming by the year 2050 which could further cause considerable damage to our planets as shown in the figure projection of global warming is calculation of global warming prepared in or before 2001 from a range of climate models under the SRESA2 emissions scenario which assumes no action is taken to reduce emissions and reasonably divided economic development the geographic distribution of surface warming during the 21st century calculated by the HED CM3 climate model if a business as usual scenario is assumed for economic growth and greenhouse gas emissions in this figure the globally averaged warming correspondence to 3 degrees celsius or we can say 5.4 degree fahrenheit here are some future predictions some basic predictions of global warming on temperature and sea level global mean temperature should increase by between 1.4 and 5.8 degree celsius the northern hemisphere cover should decrease further but the antarctic ice sheet should increase the sea level should rise by between 9 and 88 cm other changes should occur including an increase in some extreme weather events the united states is ranked one among large nations of being a global warming polluter the sooner we take heed of these statistics and implement changes that address global warming the quicker we can reverse the distributing trends here are some precaution to prevent global warming useless uses of acs and refrigerators should be stopped because from them harmful rays are emitted which result in depletion of ozone layer 
and from the whole UV rays of sun comes to the earth and cause many diseases to both animals and plants that is skin cancer etc. CNG and hydrogen operated vehicles should be used. More number of trees should be planted. Chimneys in the industries should be upgraded so that most of the affluents should get filtered down there. Save environment, save earth. Thank you.